like that in this area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Real talk, bro. Like, um, Rem reached out. Our ARP reached out again. Rem and ARP reached out together with a bag to give to URL. I said no, because I don't owe them anything. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Hating the nigga, you say that we did it. I made bucks without the heat. I'm like Damian Lillard. Yo, Sincere Cypher, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me, my boy. You know what to do. Let's make it happen. Put me in a cypher with whoever. The fans been asking, people's been asking. We're not about to do this. Put me in the cypher. Send me a beat, send me the date. That's all I need. I don't need to get paid or nothing. Send me a beat and send me the date. That's it. And address. Beat, date, address. And we're going to do it like that. Uh, Yo, K Shine, I gotta holler at Shout out to my boy K Shine, K Shine, K Shine. I gotta holler at you. I seen your expert opinion. Uh, and here's my expert opinion or your expert opinion. Shout out to expert opinion. Shout out to Math Hoffa, everything he's got going on. He's been doing phenomenal. Uh, he's approaching a million subscribers. I seen him get it out the mud from battle rap. See, Matt Hoffa was a nigga that people tried to shit on, people wasn't fucking with, people was trying to throw dirt on, people was trying to slander his name and everything. And that dude turned dirt into diamonds and now he's moving on. He's got a huge platform, he does great interviews. You might see me there one day, I'm pretty sure. You know what I'm saying? When I swing through, we swing through. Shout out to everything that he's got going on. And he's got K-Shine up there. And I might have Mav come on the news. You know what I'm saying? We got a plat. When I seen people do shit like that, they the ones who was the trailblazers and opened the door for other niggas to do shit. So I always got a lot of love and appreciation for what Mav Hoffa does. And then he's a Brooklyn nigga at that. Shout out to Brooklyn. So um, let's get to um, K-Shine. I was watching his two interviews. He, Cause math, math break up a brick. Like he have an hour, 50 minute interview. You getting clips every day. You going eight minute clip us to death. Shout out to him. I know what you're doing. Get to that bag. I'm not mad. Then he gonna put the whole joint out at the end. So, uh, Kayshawn was talking and he said a couple of things that were pretty important to me. So I took a couple of notes. Uh, he says that uh, he was saying that his flight was booked to Texas when he's supposed to be going. But he's supposed to be going to New York. Him and his wife, you know what I'm saying? So he's looking at that like a complete sabotage play because, you know, he wasn't fucking with them. They wasn't fucking with him. I'll take you guys back a little bit. From what I know, Sean was on an exclusivity deal. Now, this is his, this is his fault because he sound like in the interview he did not know what an exclusivity deal was. He sound, really, uh, if you sound very naive and he signed a contract. And I don't think he knew the stipulations and what it entailed and what it involved. So as my brother, and I rock with Sean, Sean know, I already hit him up and let him know, you got some shit popping, let me know I'm there, we keep it fair, you know what I'm saying? He know that, and that's my man. But in order to call, I gotta call, I gotta call it so I can't spoil it, you know what I'm saying? In order to keep it a buck, I gotta be honest. So, it seems to me like he signed a deal not knowing all of the ramifications and all of the fine print, and this is not something that's unfamiliar. When you look at a lot of these businesses, a lot of these labels, a lot of these companies, when they get people that are impressionable, that are young, that are from the street. And yeah, but you had an exclusivity contract. I don't even know exactly what you mean by that, bro. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit. Honestly, man, you could. Like, it was just you a contract. contract you want. No, I'm you couldn't go yeah. nowhere. Nah, I Until could, bro. I could, though. Except for one person that they wouldn't put in writing, like, certain... You, yo, you have to read this shit. Uh, uh. Sometimes they sign them to situations that's not conducive for their development and they get stuck in what's called a quote unquote bad deal. Now, I'm not saying what Shine's deal was good or bad, I didn't see it. I've said in other blogs that I felt like they should have found somewhere to meet in the middle because he owed them two battles, his opponents was fucking, uh, Daylight was doing Daylight shit, he never there. He, Daylight asked me for a track, I sent him the track, I never heard from this nigga again. But I know no he's like that, way, you know what I'm saying? He do shit boy like no that. Way, he heard me rap on the joint, boy he's like, no yo, way, boy. Yo, 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 I sent this nigga the email, I never heard back from him. But I know this is how he is though, I don't get mad because I just know, that's just one example with me. Um, when you start rapping like that, volume one coming soon too, fuck it, we might as well just let that out. So. 
I felt like Sean, there was different parts of his dialogue where I felt like he was just not, I'm not gonna say uneducated, just unaware and didn't have, cause he's thinking that these are the niggas I've been fucking with forever, they wouldn't do me dirty, shit. <laughs> That's what he's thinking. These, these niggas fuck with me, they my people, they would never do that. I've heard a lot of people say they would never do shit that happened, you know what I'm saying? They would never go through shit that happens with them. Really what we talking about, this is whole shit, man. Because everything is all good till it ain't all good. I told y'all in many different dialogues, it is all good till it ain't all good. People will say, we're gonna do this for you, we're gonna do that for you, we're gonna do this for you. At the end of the day, there's no family in this shit. There's no family. Everybody you come in with is who you come in with. That's just the way these companies run. It's all good till it ain't all good. He revealed that he was paid 15000 just to not battle Hollow on RBE. He didn't want to say it, but I'm, I'm going to just be honest with you, Sean, in these interviews, you're being really evasive. And I see that in the comments. Like, we're not getting to the meat and the potatoes of what you got going on. What's your situation when you're going to battle again, if you're not going to battle again? You said Remy and ARP had put the money together to pay for you to get off of uh, URL, but you said no because you felt like you didn't owe them anything. Now, you saying they threw you 15000 with no name just to not battle on RBE. Now, R you are, this is not the first time I heard this shit. I heard this shit with Hollow. Now I'm hearing this shit with Sean. Y'all niggas just giving money away. Can y'all, I don't want to battle. Send me some money to not battle. If y'all send me some money today, I won't battle. You know what I'm saying? I, would, I promise you that. You niggas could buy me out my battle. <laughs> you buy me out too. If y'all just give it. Dude, is, is, is Red Bree and Chrome that much competition to where niggas is getting paid? to not battle, like this is not the first time I've heard this and they've never said nothing about it not happening. So this is crazy, like getting hush money to not battle on a league is wild, bro. And if RBE was doing that shit, I'd call him out. If King of the Dot was doing that shit, I'd call him out Chrome too. So I don't hear nothing about hating nobody because I don't hate none of these niggas because I get money with all these niggas, don't matter which league it is. Even if the event is bad, we gonna find it. Piece of the brick, piece of the brick, piece of the brick, piece of the brick, piece of the brick. We'll find a way to make it work. So don't get it twisted. We. <laughs> It's in URL's best interest for us, for them to do good. Like y'all be thinking that we we want them. I don't want them to do bad. You know how many you know how many views uh, Chess versus Easy to Block Captain recap did, or Tay Rock versus uh, uh, Tay Rock versus Official, or Mike P versus Daylight. Mike P versus Daylight got half a million on my channel right now. Nigga, they do views when the battles is good. So that's what I'm saying. It's not in our best interest when shit is ass. I'm just be honest with you. But let's go on. So he said. He was uh, running out of opponents and ain't had no more bread, so he got a phone call from, you know, ARP, like, yo, I'll bring you over here, what's good, what's good, that you battled Jay Mills, you did your thing, I want to bring you back. And he's getting calls that are telling him his contract says he could do everything except for one league. Like, he couldn't play for the Knicks. He could play for any other team in the NBA except for the Knicks. So my question is this, like, do y'all niggas ARP that, are they doing that good? To where they don't matter in the grand scheme of things, but they matter so much that you would pay a nigga twice. Hollow said 25, this nigga said 15. 45,000 and not battle there? That shit sounds crazy. I'm just be honest. That shit sounds crazy. Nobody can justify why people are getting paid to not battle on a league. And I've been one that has said this a number of times. You should be able to battle it wherever you want. You should be able to travel wherever you want. You should be able to do whatever you want. I, but I remember from way, 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 way back in the days, I had just went to a King of the Dot event and niggas was tripping. Oh, 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 you and I'm like, I'm not signed to y'all. I don't get paid for y'all. And I'm not part of it. But that's the clicky gang gang shit where they like, you got to be gang gang. If you ain't gang gang, you can't hang. And once it was tripping over that, I was like, yo, I got to go, man. Like, these niggas is bugging. You know what I'm saying? And they got them wet methods and ways they go about doing things. But, huh. Look like we're still here to meet. Now back to Sean. Um, so he's saying he's getting the phone calls that's telling him he could do a lot of things, but he can't battle on RBE. And he's saying that RBE had the money for him, and he said they gave him, they was gonna give him 15 on the front, 15 on the back. They gave him 15 to not take 15. This shit is just this whole situation just looks crazy for the artist and for the league. You know what I'm saying? This should be under no circumstance why people are saying they just getting offered money and paid just to not go somewhere. Like it ain't like we pay you. Uh, we give you a better look or we give you this that and the third it's just no we paying you just not to do it over there now i don't agree with the fact that shine was signed a deal for like fucking however long or five or six or eight battles and it's an exclusivity deal why are you signing that that's my question dna go wherever he want charlie clips go wherever he want calico go wherever he want goods go wherever he want right he can go wherever he want but he's pretty much loyal to url but other niggas do whatever they want 
why would you be somebody that was in these classes or there before them or around Arsenal's time? Oh, you've been here forever. Why are you taking a deal that says that we can we can hold you like this? It's my man, but it is what it is. These are the type of deals that he took this deal and now niggas is looking at you like, <laughs> you want to go where? Give me my money back. And I understand that you said Ram and ARP was going to make the play, but you didn't want it because they gave you the money to not do it. But... Uh, overall, this is, I hope, a lot of like the younger MCs, the more impressionable guys, they learn the lessons here. It's cheaper to just pay a lawyer to look over your shit, make sure your situation is right. Even if you're using the money that you're making to do it, you know what I'm saying? Like even in this industry right here, I have, a name is trademark, brand is trademark, paid for lawyers, you know what I'm saying? Nobody could just come take all my shit and use it. Like you have to be 10 steps ahead of the game. Like you have to invest in yourself. It can't just be, I'm gonna give me some rims, I'm gonna give me a chain, I'm gonna go get a couple pair of sneakers and all of that. No, pay for your business license. Pay for, you know what I'm saying, a lawyer to look over these contracts. They might charge $100 a page, $175 a page. How long is these niggas contracts? Might be a page or two. A page or two could save you, is all I'm saying. Just pay someone to look at it because now this whole situation looks crazy and you know you on math off you telling your side of the story but there are definitely parts where i'm like oh no shine damn why did you do that oh, oh no fuck you know what i'm saying so you got a lot of people vouching for you a lot of people want to see you again myself included but uh this situation looks crazy and i heard you they was gonna give you broke briz rawstein but they wanted you to apologize publicly you was like fuck no i'm not apologizing publicly now while i don't blame you for not doing it you gotta take what comes with it, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I hope that they could come to some sort of resolution or moving forward or whatever the case may be. But this is about to be a whole year that's wasted out of Shine's career. A year that he can't get back, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of time that's been wasted out of this year with this situation. And it's like, damn, damn, don't, 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 don't do it, man, Shine. We wanna see you again, you know what I'm saying? And, and it is what it is. Uh, Shout out to all of Battle Rap. Like I said, King of the Dodgers had Blackout. Ill Mac versus uh, Rum Nitty had a fucking crazy amount of replay value. Gishi Gotti continues to steamroll through the game. And the rest of the event was pretty good. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Shout out to my motherfucking gang. It's your boy Butterfly. Tell your mama I said hi.